Welcome to 25 and Broke, where I teach you how to stop being broke financially, socially, physically, and spiritually so that you can stop being a wuss and start being a winner. Today we're talking about how to meet the woman of your dreams without scaring her off. Now, for many of you gentlemen out there, well, you just don't know how to do this. Somehow, you leech on. You meet that hot, smoking, pretty girl, and you get all excited about her, and you just think, man, I need to get her. I need to be with her. Well, do you think she doesn't feel that energy, that desperation, that clinginess? Of course she does. Wouldn't you? You've had those girls, right, that come at you and they're just all on you, on you. Oh, I want to spend more time with you. Spend more time with me. When can we, when can I see you next? Right? You're like, you're not even out of the car yet. What do you mean? When can I see you next? Why don't we let a day or two pass before we talk about our next plans, right? So if that turns you off, because I know it turns me off, then what makes you think that when you act that way, when you behave that way, very female, very beta male, what makes you think that she's not going to get really turned off and, well, really do everything she can to avoid you, to blow you off? But she'll do it in a nice way because she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, your heart, right? Because you're a sensitive guy. Well, listen, sensitive Sally, if you want to be with this girl, then you need to back off. You need to attract her into your life, not to push at her. If you push at something, it moves away from you. If you attract something, it moves towards you. So if you want that beautiful, smoking hot girl to move towards you, then you need to practice, 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 and develop the skills of attraction. Now, there's so many things out there that you can learn about attraction. There, Google it. How to attract hot girls. How to attract females. How to attract the opposite sex. Look at some of these things. Obviously, not everything's going to apply to you, but a few will. Take out the gold nuggets. Practice them. Put them into your daily life. Try them. Try them out. Discover and develop new skill sets. Because the results you're getting right now, I'm guessing, are not working for you. So if they're not working for you, why are you still doing them? Why? Change. Develop. Become the best version of yourself. That means constantly investing into yourself, into your education, into your your emotions, your faith, your psychology, right? Become that best version of yourself. That's work. And work takes time. There's no doubt about it. So, you know, you can be lazy and keep getting the crappy results, keep repelling girls, turning girls off, or you can... Try something new. You can attract girls. You can take your time and be confident. And when you speak with them, you can be chill. Just be chill, man. You know, stop trying so hard. A guy who's chill is a guy who's confident. And girls respond to that. It attracts them into that guy. Be that guy. You know, the guy that sits there and is just like not chill, you know, this nervous energy, ooh, I got to please the girl. I got, I have to think of creative things to do with her all the time, and I have to come up with those things. Well, shoot, man, that just turns you into a big old wuss. No, be the guy who turns to her and says, listen, the next time we go out, you you get to pick the place. And uh, it better be good. Right? You put that on her. You say, you know, um, okay, so we did your plan today. Next, two, uh, next time we go out, we're doing something I want to do. 
trust me, she's going to look at you, her head's going to tilt, she's going to smile, and she's going to go, oh, really? Well, that, oh, really, really means, damn, I like it. I like that you just uh, sparked some attraction in me. I want you even more. I desire you even more. That's a turn on for a woman. A guy who's just like, listen, I'm going to give a little to you, but I expect a little back. I'm going to be kind to you and gentle to you, but I'm also this aggressive alpha male. And as an alpha male, I have my life. I have things I like to do. I have things I do well. And those are not things I'm going to sacrifice and remove from my life just because I'm inviting you into my life. Man, that girl's going to be like, this guy has got it going on. I want to be with this guy. And she also knows other women are going to want to be with this guy. Well, this guy is you. So imagine that. The girl that you want not only wants to be with you, but she's also thinking in the back of her head that other girls, other hot, beautiful girls, want to be with you. So she's going to step up her game. And she's going to try harder and want to do more of the things you want to do. Doesn't that sound awesome? does to me works for me this isn't meant to brag in any way shape or form this is just meant to explain and share with you I implement these things I do these things when I go out with girls this is how I speak to them in the past I used to be beta male beta Joseph now I'm alpha Joseph I am aggressive when needed to be aggressive and I'm soft and sensitive and compassionate when needed but it's kind of like the 80 20 rule right so 80% of the time, I am confident, alpha, aggressive Joseph who is driven and going where he wants to go in life, becoming the best version of myself and helping other people to do the same. And then 10 to 20% of the time, I'm beta Joseph. I'm chill. I'm relaxed. What would you like to do today? You know, I picked last time. Why don't we do something you like? Or what gets you excited? You know, having these conversations, talking about her day. How was your day? Tell me about it. Describe your day to me. Girls love that stuff, man. They love to talk about themselves. So do you, right? So listen, develop that and uh, just put it into work, man. Change it up, guys. At the end of the day, you want better results. You want different results. You have to do different actions. So I'm Joseph Warren, and you were made for greatness. So stop being a wuss and start being a winner. I'll see you, to, see you tomorrow. Peace.